here in uh, Diablo 3 today, going to be doing some of the uh, achievements for Witch Doctor. Um, going through most of the um, class specific uh, challenge type achievements. Alright, our first one here is going to be Puppet Master, which is getting seven pets and or followers at the same time. Um, this one's pretty easy. Basically, what we're going to do here for this, we got actually, we got our zombie dogs. We're just going to summon as many pets as possible. Fetish army. And Legion of Daggers. Okay. And then we can change one of our passives to Zombie Handler. Alright. And there you go. We've easily got. Uh, how many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 12. 13, um, including the Templar, which makes 14. And actually, you can add another two onto that by uh, starting a new game at the end of Act 2. Um, as uh, you're about to fight Belial, where you have Adria and Leia following you around. Um, and you can have even more followers that way. Alright, now we're going to be doing the Not in Vain achievement, which I actually haven't even unlocked yet. Um, which is killing 10 enemies with a single sacrifice. Uh, cool thing is, we'll be able to see exactly how this um, pops. But um, to get a good handle on trying to do this, we're going to be using Zombie Handler, um, giving me four zombie dogs, pierce the veil for increased damage, um, sacrifice the picked next of kin, because there's whatever, might as well. And, um, uh, Zombie dogs, I did leeching beasts just because I didn't want something that does a damage over time effect. Um, anyways, so we're going to try to see how this works. Basically, we're going to go to. Well, we're on hell again, also, still, which is important, being somewhere that you can easily overpower an enemy. Keep that's 2 is another good place for. Uh, Trying something like this out. Unfortunately, I gotta watch out for these uh, self destructing guys. Alright, we got a nice group of enemies here. Uh, there we go. That was nice. So, as you can see, just. Find yourself a nice group of enemies. Saw them. Wow. All right. Hope that uh, helps you out. Then. Ooh, good job. <laughs> All right. So we're going to be doing the hot dogging achievement now, which is summon three zombie dogs at the same time without using the summon zombie dog skill. Now, actually, I'm going to start off with the summon zombie dog skill. Actually, and we have a uh, passive here, Zombie Handler, so we have four. And now we're going to use Circle of Life as our other important passive, which is when an enemy dies within 12 yards, so there's a chance to resurrect a dog. And then Sacrifice with Next of Kin, which has a 35% chance every time a dog is sacrificed to resurrect as a new dog. Um, and also, I just want to point out, I have a thing of the Deep, which increases gold and health pickup radius by 20 yards. Um, which interacts with this passive to make the range of the possible resurrection of zombie dogs even greater. Um, so anyways, this is going to be our kind of idea being that we're going to sacrifice the zombie dogs and then they have a chance to resurrect themselves and a chance to also resurrect from whatever they kill. Gonna try to ignore them for the most part. We want to find large groups of enemies. Should be able to collect a few together. Fortunately, all these uh, self-destructing guys don't really help. Okay. Let's sacrifice. Yep, there we go. Resurrected three simultaneously. 
because uh, all of them died when I sacrificed, and now we've got three again. Um, also, there's just a chance that even just the sacrifice itself can resurrect three. Um, it's a small chance, but it doesn't require actually going out and finding any enemies. I'm gonna try this one more time here. Let's get everybody. Uh, oh, I'll be two that time. But second hit. But yeah, anyway, so you get the point. And um, you can also just use like what I do here. Um, is fire bomb. So I fire bomb with a ghost bomb rune, and then you just go somewhere here, like in hell, like I've kind of been doing so far. Um, you can just kill everything pretty easily. That way, one hit takes out, you know, ten guys. And each one has that 30% chance to resurrect. Alright, so that pretty much wraps it up. Um, those are really the important achievements that uh, we're showing. Others equip, you know, just those items. You can find them on an auction house these days are really cheap. Especially for crap ones, if you haven't found them in your own adventures already. And Stop Hitting Yourself is really just about casting confused and letting it do its magic because um, that's pretty much what the skill does is get your enemies to kill each other so that's more about just using the skill enough times to fill up that bar more than any actual specific uh, task you need to do. Other than that that's pretty much it thank you for watching.